The snake shot is nowadays one of the most common shots you will face. And that's why we should look at a standard defense against the snake shot. Hi Fußvolks, my name is Lynn. I'm a football player from Germany and the current world champion in women's doubles. Welcome to another episode of Strategy Sunday with Linja. If you're thinking about buying a Leonard table, make sure to visit the Leonard page and with my code Linja International you can get 5% discount on your table and also with it a very cool package with 10 Leo balls and 8 wraps from Leo Slam. I have 7 tips for you and now let's look into it. Tip number 1. The 3 point defense. As you maybe know the goal is as big as 5 balls. When I am displaying this by showing it to you putting five balls in a row just to show you that it is five balls big. So the three point defense is actually that you cover only those three spots, right? But why those three points? It's because most of the players will be able to shoot the corners, right? And also the straight. The more difficult ones are the, the in-between spots, the short spots. I also think it's most of the time because um, many players are just not practicing the short spots because they are not more difficult than the corners. Um, but it's also more tough to see sometimes. So it is able to play the three point defense in different levels. So basically you try to cover these spots with um, switching around the spots, um, the three points, right? So you could cover it like this. And then um, when you are switching in this way, you come in with this man to cover the other spot, right? So it's kind of a, a um, limitation on where is your pawn and shooting. Of course, when you're recognizing that your pawn is also shooting the in-between spots, you have to make it more difficult for your pawn to see if it's open or not. That's why I was talking about um, different levels of playing the three-point defense. Tip number two, you have to find out which side is stronger from your opponent. So if his pull side is better than his push side, then you should focus more on forcing your opponent on shooting the push side, right? So it's actually with everything you learned about foosball um, to find out the weaknesses of your opponent. And one of those can be that he has a stronger side. And there we come to tip number three. Is your opponent even shooting the middle? Because many snake players are actually focusing on both corners and then they forget to shoot the middle. So that means you can just sometimes make a split. Of course, it can't be too obvious because then the middle is very wide open, but it's um, kind of like when you are um, uh, moving around on the three point spot and stuff like that. It could be something like where you on some points are like this, right? And then, um, they will execute on the corner because before that you show that it's open and you close it and then of course there's a huge split but you you timed it that he will take the corner. Tip number four. So when we are talking about the middle shot some players are not using it because they are focused on the corners but when they do so it is sometimes a little bit tough because when they are shooting the middle it is kind of difficult when they when they are rocking on the ball and they have a very quick rock it's, or even a wide rock, it's very difficult to shoot a very clean, straight shot, um, which means that you have maybe a tell. So some players will have such a rock, and after they decided um, to shoot the middle, they will change their rock. So for example, maybe they, they, their rock are shorter, like this, or they will just stop before they shoot. And anything like that can give you a tell so that you can react before the shot is actually coming. Tip number five. Um, is your opponent shooting an angle shot or at the short spots, right? That's what I mentioned in the beginning very quick. When you recognize that your opponent is shooting also the short spots and also the angled one, right? Um, or also in this way, you have to adapt by covering also the short spots and playing with um, knowing when is your opponent looking at the short spots and is there any spot he can shoot better. It's the same with finding the stronger side of your opponent, right? And also when your opponent is able to shoot the angle one, 
and he's really doing it consistently, then you should switch the defenses uh, from, from the two-bar man because um, then your opponent doesn't know when he should take the angle shot, right? Um, it's also depending on which one he can actually shoot but uh, the adjustments should be there um, with, for example, switching uh, to these two different positions. Tip number six, coming in with the other puppet. This is also something I mentioned very quick in the beginning. So um, when you have a middle snake and you are covering on three spots, it's very often that you cover it like this and like this or like this and like this. So you see um, um, the middle is often covered but sometimes it's really cool to have the outside man coming in because sometimes your pawn is just focusing on a specific corner and is just waiting until you're going away so after you do this movement you can come in with the other man um, uh, to the spot to cover the hole um, and it's pretty hard sometimes for the for the offensive part to see that the puppet is coming in, right? So uh, it's a trick you, you can use uh, several times and, and your opponent maybe fall for it, right? Um, and uh, you should wait until he adjusts to that uh, movement and uh, after that you can um, do more adjustments to it. Tip number seven, force your opponent to shoot what he doesn't like. That means you found out in the beginning what his strength is and what his weaknesses is. So let's say his pull side is better than his push side. Um, then you should try to like um, provoke your opponent by offering, for example, the weaker side and uh, make it hard for the opponent to, to, to execute the shot. So actually literally you just make him um, having a very heavy arm to execute the shot he doesn't like. Um, by you know uh, offering it and closing it so that he doesn't know if it's really open or not and also with timings you can play um, because uh, the, the weaker side most of the time has uh, less timings where he can execute the shot um, um, very good and when you are able to find out those things um, you will uh, find it very easy to block the shot. These were my seven tips to the snake defense. I hope you liked the video and if so make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and joining with me the Strategy Sunday episode. See you soon Fußvolks. I cannot wait for another journey with you.